Hello everyone, I'm Taylor Bliss with armlessoctopus.com here today to show you a little guide on how to find indies on the new dashboard. Um, it's, it's not easy, to say the least. So let's take a quick rundown. As you can see right here, we're on your main dashboard. This is what it's going to look like as soon as you, uh, as soon as you turn on your Xbox just, or just log into live. You know, got your regular stuff, you know, play a game, quick play, and whatnot. And so you, as a smart gaming individual, decide, I want to check out my indie games. I'm going to go over to games. And let's see. You know, normally you, you're used to doing stuff like this. So let's go to Game Marketplace. Okay. Like, okay, I can see where this is going. And now at this point, you're looking at the top up there where it says featured games, add-ons, extras, demos, picks, etc. And you're thinking, well, you know, there's nothing for indies, so why don't I just go right to new releases? I'm sure that they'll be rep well represented there. And the answer is no. They're they're not there. Uh, there you're, you will not find a single indie game there. There are no indies under the new releases tab. So let's just go over to games and again, let's try new releases and oh wait, that's the same list that we just saw. So you can see here, this just popped up indie games. So you've got this middle banner, which you can control the three tabs by using your right analog stick. If once you're, and it's only if you're highlighted over it. So as you can see, you can kind of move along here by using the left analog stick or using the D pad. And you know you can so you can go over your middle big banner here, and then you go once to the right, and in the middle there are indie games. So you can see the type, subtitle there is favorites and finalists, which is misleading because you don't expect to just you know that's what you don't expect to be the representation of the indie games here. So you've got Kotaku's favorites. So you can see here, here's your uh, these are the Dream Build Play finalists. So that's a good thing to have. Now we can go to the new releases here. And here are the Xbox Live Indie Game new releases. Now, here's the thing. You only get new releases and you only got most popular. I can change the sort so that I can do top downloads, user rating, or by title. But this means that in order to find exactly what I want, I have to go into most popular and then change the sort to top downloads, user rating, or title. So just as a recap, we started here on the home screen. You have to go into games, go into game marketplace, then you have to go over to games, click over to my to indie games, then go into most popular, and then you can actually change the sort to by title. And then you can scroll through all 2100 of the entries. So that's how you find indie games on the new dashboard. Yeah. Hello everyone, uh, Taylor Bliss with Armless Octopus again. Uh, I'm adding a quick addendum to my previous video. As people have already been pointing out, uh, I neglected to include another way to get to Xbox Indie Games. So we're going to go back into games, back into Game Marketplace, and back into games again. And you can see over here we've got Game Type. And you can go in there, and then you've got Indie Games. It's the same thing except it brings you exactly by into sort uh, by release date. So it's it basically it brings you to the same place. It has the same restrictions. It's just, I guess, a little bit more intuitive, uh, but it actually takes more button presses to get to the same spot. It just and it gives you less less options. I think that this is actually a better interface for it because you know you've got the dream build play right there. You've got Kotaku's favorites right up there. And I think it's a better showing of the indie games. But either way, the point is that you can go into game type and then you can choose indie games. And you can, you know, then look at your release date and, uh, you know, sort of by title or user rating if you want.
Now, another point that people have been bringing up that is extremely valid and one that needs to be brought up is the fact that there's no more sorting other than by these four criteria, release date, top downloads, user rating, and title. I can't sort it by genre. Uh, you know, that, that this is it. And not only that, but obviously it's just not very intuitive. I don't understand why I would care more about add-ons and demos than I would about sorting between arcade and Xbox indie games. But that's where we're at right now. So I just wanted to make sure that that was covered. You can get to it by game type. And again, uh, it's still not good.